So, uh, Hooper fucking derp, how many of you guys are ready for the end of the world of this Friday? I mean, it's gonna end, so you guys gonna, like, party it up, gonna live life? No, that was stupid. You know what? If it does or doesn't end, you should still live your life anyways, I'm just saying. But, you know, the silliness that is gonna ensue this week is gonna be pretty silly. But also, you guys should probably stay safe this week, just cause, uh, there are gonna be crazies out there. So make sure you avoid all crazies. Just saying. But anyways, hey guys, well, we got an Ubers match here today against uh, Soji Row 88 or something like that. But yeah, Ubers match, because I was in the mood for Ubers, and I figured I'd mix it up a little bit, because variety is sometimes nice. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, same Ubers team. I'm going to actually have a new Ubers team soon. I just haven't actually, like, genned it yet, but Rich did make me... Did make me another team because I'm dog shit at Ubers. At least team making. Just team making in general I'm bad at lately. But uh, opponent's team, he's got all three of the Hoenn trio. And then he's got a Wobbuffet, a Mewtwo, and a Drachi. So he's he's got a pretty decent team. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it can work. It seems like it's got some decent flowing synergy. So, you know, he'll he'll make it work somehow. But main threats I'm going to have to watch out for. Um, Kyogre, it's just annoying. But it's I got a couple checks for it. It shouldn't be too huge of an issue once I figure out what it does. Rayquaza is always going to be an issue. I mean, I do have Genesect for it. I do kind of have Frostlass. So, I mean, it won't be too huge, but it will be annoying. But So, I got to watch out for mainly just the Kyogre and the uh, Rayquaza. I'm not really too scared of his Mewtwo or his uh, Wobbuffet, though, just because normally not. But at least on his end, I figured he would just go with Groudon because that's his main thing for rocks. I figured he'd just go right off for rocks. So I was like, I'll get my rocks up. But then right when I clicked to leave with Groudon, I was like, wait a second. I should have gone with Frostlass and taunted him so he couldn't get rocks up. Well, that's my bad, but oh well. So, at least we both get rocks up the first turn. I mean, that's bad for me that he got rocks up. But then I go for Dragon Tail, and he goes Dragon Tail, so I guess he either won a speed tie or he actually invested in speed. But he roars me into uh, Mewtwo, which works out because I can just Fire Blast him, but doesn't quite take him out, so that kind of sucks. So he's going to hit me with an Earthquake. Doesn't too incredibly much, though, so I can just hit him with a Psy Strike to take him out. So at the very least, I do have the early advantage, but now he can just come in with anything he wants to revenge kill me with. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but at the very least, I got the first kill, <laughs> and I get to scout his next Pokemon. So he does bring in Kyogre, and I just stay in to scout and see if uh, he is Scarfed or anything else. And he is Scarfed because he does outspeed my Mewtwo. So I'm going to go into Rayquaza, and I figure here he's just going to predict the Outrage and go up to his Jirachi. So I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake. It's kind of a ballsy move. I was thinking maybe I should have gone for V-Create instead. Maybe if Rayquaza came in to at least hit that. But Jirachi does come in, and that thing just gets hit with a CB Earthquake, and that'll just take the fucker right down. So that'll give me a pretty nice 5-4 uh, advantage there. And at least I kill off the Jirachi without any headaches. But now he brings in his own Rayquaza, and I'm like, okay, let's go into Frostlass, because I'm not sure if he's going to want a Dragon Dance or not, So, I, or just just in general, what he's going to do, so I figure I'll bring in Frostlass, should be able to uh, scout out what he's doing, if he thinks Frostlass isn't a threat, I can just Icy Wind him, which he should think Frostlass can be a threat to his Rayquaza at the very least, but uh, he does go straight for Draco Meteor, so he's a mixed Rayquaza, so that's fun, I guess. But now I'm just going to go into Groudon because I figure that's the best thing I take on Rayquaza when it's at minus 2 and it's mixed. But I missed the Dragon Tail right there. Not... Well, actually, it's kind of a huge deal just because now Groudon has to take another Outrage. And, I mean, it didn't really matter so much if I killed the Rayquaza or not. At the very least, it would have died from coming in from Rocks again. So, I mean, that would have been nice to have. But now it dies, so that's cool. But now Groudon's at about a quarter, and I'm not really getting considered as useful as it could be. So I'm like, okay... He brings in Kyogre here, I could have switched out, but I was like, I don't know what he's going to go for, so I'm just going to sack Groudon, grout because I figured he might want to go for Ice Beam too, but I wasn't quite sure, but he does go for Ice Beam to take me out, and I'm just going to go to Genesect to U-turn on him, get massive amounts of damage, and then figure out what to do next. If I go for U-turn, he doesn't switch out, I thought he might be baited too, because bringing in Genesect might induce a thunder, and but... He just stays in, I guess, figuring that I would just U-turn and that he could live it. But I'm getting on Ho, who I figured would be able to take at least two Ice Beams and then maybe get a Roost off. And I am able to, but then he fucking freezes me, so it's like, great. That's gonna be really fucking huge. Actually, it, it will be because you'll, you'll see. But for now, he does take out Ho. -Oh. And mainly it would have been huge just because I was most like, well, I was gonna Roost up, and then he wouldn't be able to do too much damage to me. And I would have eventually just uh, flame charged up so I could outspeed everything. And then maybe get extra da damage on his Wobbuffet, which would have been really huge. 
again, as you'll see later, but whatever the case, bringing Rayquaza just to revenge him with extreme speed. I didn't want to go to Genesect for some reason. I don't really know why, but whatever the case, he's going to bring in Mewtwo just to revenge me because he knows he can live in extreme speed, and he'll just take me out with the Psy Strike, and that is the end of Rayquaza, so I'm like, okay, Genesect, I need to get an attack boost from you. Please give me a fucking attack boost and we'll be okay. Do I get an attack boost? No, I don't. I get a special attack boost, which is where I was hoping, or, you know, the one moment I was like, fuck, I really wish that I was a special Genesect instead, but I mean, physical Genesect usually helps you more, so I'm not complaining too much. But now he's going to bring in the Wobbuffet, and, uh, I mean, I took out the Mewtwo, obviously, but Wobbuffet comes in, don't quite do enough to take him out, he's just going to counter me to take me out. So if I was able to get at least a Brave Bird on the, off on this Wobbuffet, or if I got the attack boost with the Genesect, then, you know, that Wobbuffet would be dead. But, you know, Freeze loses me the game, because bitches like that. But... Whatever the case, that was still a good match, so is just freeze was all like, Nyeh. but that's how it goes sometimes, so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, um, I have no idea what I'm going to do for videos this week instead of LP parts, but I will figure it out, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, etc, etc, blah, break out my sub, and later guys.